okay so today's problem's name is implement try and that is a prefix tree it is a new data structure and we have to implement uh, a try with insert search and start with methods so the there are these three methods and in insert we will be uh, given a word that we have to insert in the try data structure in search we have to search the string whether our try data structure contains this word or not and in starts with we will be given some prefix that we have to search whether the try data structures contains this prefix or not so for those who don't know what a try data structure is you can see here uh, it is a type of a tree only prefix tree and ordered tree data structure that is used to store a dynamic set or associate array so you can see that here is the try structure what is special in it you can see that it contains the words t ted and ten but you can see that t is common in all three and t is only stored in one node so you don't need to store t separately for different words and that is why it uh, is a uh, efficient data structure so we have to implement the functions of tree so one way can be creating this that uh, is shown here okay uh, it is the one way or what i will be doing is i will be doing this problem using two sets so that is a bit of trick in here that you don't really need to create this whole lot of data structures you just you can implement this question using two sets only and that approach is what i am going to discuss here now so let's start i will take two hash set of string type one will be for storing words and the other one for storing prefixes all right inside this constructor i will declare them all right so they are assigned memory here and now when we will be given the command of inserting a word in try what i will do i will simply write word dot add word dot add and the word will be inserted in the hash set as simple as that now for prefix hash set what we need to do is suppose we are given a word t okay so in the prefix hash set you need to have t T E and T E A all three because you can see that T has T and T E all as its prefix. So your prefix hash set must contain all the prefix of a given word. So for that I will be using a string builder. String builder. right and i look through it and what i will do inside it that i will break it in character by character by character so i will append Carrot i, and now I will add it in our prefix hash set. All right, so you can see that I have added it in the prefix hash set. So this function is also complete. Now, uh, if they will search that whether our try data structure contain this word or not so you don't really have to do anything just simply write the normal command for searching an element in a set that is if 
words dot contains this word if it contains then return true I'll simply return false and uh, we can do this for prefix also so if prefix contains prefix so if it contains the prefix then we will return true else we can return false and that was the program you can see that we didn't write much code and in this manner we can deal with this problem so nothing new here just you can see that two hash sets words and prefixes for storing words and prefix and then a string builder method for storing each and every prefixes and I guess this will do the work let us check okay contain spelling error right okay accepted for basic test cases and submitted so that was the problem and we did in a much shorter manner so there is this alternative approach that i was talking about and i'll see you in the next video